warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. So I had a deer hole with my all predator lure and all predator bait and then Dunlap sent me this. I threw squirt a little bit of that on there and this would be the second or third dog in this location. Got another set right over there. I was kind of hoping for a double but we'll take what we got. Beautiful dog. I'll get him taken care of. I'm gonna run the rest of the line and then I'll the rest of this area real quick and then I'll come back and remake this but make sure I ain't got nothing else waiting for me and then we got a long walk on that other part so stay tuned guys I really thought I would have caught one here but so far deer ain't even knocking it down got one tucked over here too nothing in that Maybe that was the one I killed. I had one hanging in a tree the other day. Maybe that's the one. Hide this shit. That probably makes a difference. Well, guys, I did something that I wanted to do. I mentioned it. So... We can use 220s here in Nebraska. I really wanted to catch a cat on a snare because we can use snares in Nebraska too. I wanted to catch a cat and we did it. I wanted to catch a cat in a 220 and we did it. I couldn't believe it. I put this here, oh, a week and a half ago. And I've, I've got a few of them out now and I've caught a few, uh, you can't have anything good here. In Nebraska, you can't have any feathers, any animal parts, or any of that stuff. So I just got some of my oh fuck in the back for smell, and, and I've seen, I've actually seen where in my own yard in Missouri, where I've had old buckets laying out that the cats will come up and put their head in them. You could follow their tracks in the snow. The bobcats. Look what we got. <laughs> I can't believe it. That is a big cat. That is a really big cat. Um. What would make this so much easier if I could just scatter fur or feathers? There's nothing. There's nothing. This is just a bucket that I've used at home and had bait in. Just an old bucket. Probably smells like honey too a little bit from work. I get them from work. They, they, we put honey in them at work and I bring them home and I, I put carcasses or whatever in them before I grind them. But anyways, I don't like a square bucket. I just can't believe that that cat has still stuck his head in there just for the old fuck in the back. Oh my gosh. So we'll remake it. It's a big cat. 220 just kills him. Like it's supposed to. Just kills him and that's the end of it. Quick death. So I'll get some uh, my bottle of old fuck and we'll remake this. So stay tuned. to wire it off because he could bounce all over the place for a minute like a, I don't know if you've ever seen your grandma kill chickens back when you were younger they still end up even with their head missing they still end up quite a ways away from where they start okay you know I, I drove by this every day thinking what a waste of time. And then we'll look what we ended up getting. Big old kitty. 
and I've already texted Flair and he's like, dude, you gotta make that your thumbnail. That's all it is. That is a pretty heavy dude. Okay, so we just have this. This is mostly for the raccoons, but I wanted to catch a bobcat. But the raccoons will come along here. I think just that smell of honey in the bucket would be a plenty enough for a raccoon to... I've been catching quite a few possums, but... With all the other catches, it's just not worth showing the possums. Just slide that back in and that's all I'm doing. And then I got my oh fuck. Which I think a mice must have carried my stick away because I don't even see that in there. Big old dab of that on there. So strong. Throw that in the back of the bucket. Whew, Lord. That's all there is. I'm sure I could use bait in there, my bait, tucked up in a corner. You just gotta keep it out of sight of birds of prey. But that is a pretty big bobcat. He won't be uh, on camera anymore. You know what, I'm gonna, since I got it now, I got this, uh, it's winterized, so it won't freeze. You know how we've been dealing with freezing. I'm gonna squirt some of this inside of there. Can't see it. I don't think a bird would be very attracted to that anyways. All right, we're rolling on. That's crazy. Duke number five and a half, or 550, what the hell is this? Holding him. That's a big dog. Get all that covered up. Hmm. I'm almost thinking about just leaving that one and moving somewhere else. Come in here tomorrow and pull that one and just move down to that point there maybe, or over here on this point. I've kind of wore this down. We got one working right there, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. All that blood just went right there, and I don't really want to mess with it. So, we got one there working. I'll pull that. And I think we'll put it out here closer to this point, like right here where the dog is. And that would get him more traveling. I'd like to get a double right here, what I'd like to do. But normally I don't move them, but I think I need to get over here on this corner more and then fresh it, a fresher set. I think we've got three dogs and a skunk there. <laughs> Getting blood all over everything. All right, let's go. Oh guys, I see number 50 right there. All wrapped up and dead like he's supposed to be. And I don't have any cables still, so there will be no remaking. So they're gonna have free passage for a while. Look at that cow school there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put one back here and one back there. Let's see. Yeah, I got like another, I could see the fence. I got like another 30 feet that way I can go for the property line. And then I can need to put one on this trail going that way. They run right up that way. So I need three of them here, so. All right, I'll get them out and we'll, we'll head on up the, I'll set them up top here and get them on the way back through, so. All right, I get a picture. All right, that set worked perfect. Absolutely perfect. <clears throat> okay. I guess I can't 
these animal parts here. Nice dog. Set that trail there. A little bit. There's a hell of a trail there I'm about to set. And there's one going that way. Right there. It's beat down. I'm just going to have to find somewhere where it pinches enough or try to pinch them down. But we had one here last night. But he, he chewed the cable. Okay, it was this one. Yeah, he chewed it. It happens. So we'll catch him in a different set, and I'll show you guys that he can live. He can live just fine with it on him. He's got a collar now, but it'll it'll fall off of him. But we'll catch him before he has a chance to drop it off. So, all right. Now yeah, we definitely need one on this trail here. Find a spot where it funnels, but it just doesn't funnel down anywhere. <laughs> 